I've managed to get this. Well, give it to me. Maybe you've got it right this time. Nice work, son. You can find some water in the middle of the desert. Ah, oh, what a relief. It wasn't exactly easy to find. And what about your part of the deal? Yeah, sure, don't fear. So, there's a street behind this house with an old warehouse at the end. Yes, I know, but it's been deserted for quite a long time. I haven't ever seen its gate open. Just go there. This time the gate won't be closed. You'll see. Tell him I sent you. He'll, he'll, he'll know. And in fact, he said he believed in your skills. He expected you would find us. All right. Bye for now. Yeah, okay, okay. Now, if you excuse me, I have some serious business to attend to. It's unbelievable how fast he's fallen asleep. Tom is mad at me. I better let him cool down. Aha, let's see. A visitor. Why doesn't that surprise me? I was told you expected me, that's why. Not only that, I've heard a lot about you. Now what exactly do you want from me? I want to join the resistance. To fight against the establishment. Against the establishment? Hmm. Endora sacked you and now you want to fight? Or does it have something to do with your family? How do you know about that? Look, we know everything. If you really want to fight this establishment of yours, go and speak with Professor Petrenko. He lives in the better part of the slums. Do you know how to get there? Yes, I've been there. The high-level railway goes there. Exactly. It's the first house beside the station. He will tell you what you need to know, and tell him no name sent you. And that's all you'll tell me? You need nothing more for the time being. Now go. Professor Oleg Remidovich Petrenko. Professor Oleg
hope he's home. Who the hell are you? And who sent you? I'm Richard Rochek. I'm looking for somebody who will be able to help me with... problems. They sent me to you. Who sent you here? Well, in fact, nobody. A man. He was in... I really don't care about who he was, where he was, or what he told you. He lied to you, that's it. And now get lost. But wait, I... I don't think he's going to open the door. Professor... You bastard! You're gonna pay for this! What are you talking about? What? Are you kidding me? You ask me what I'm talking about? You killed Petrenko! Do you even know who he was? Killed? What do you mean, killed? He sent me away. He sent me back here. He said he didn't need anything. Yeah, he didn't need anything. And you mistook that for a death wish. Nice. But that's not true. I didn't kill him. I just... Gave him the last sacrament, sure. This is crazy. How can I prove to you that I didn't kill him? Think fast, because your time's running out. You have to believe me. Yes, I believe you. I believe you killed him, you dumbass. And now you're gonna follow him to the grave. Wait, that's... What are you doing? You bastard! You're gonna pay for this! What are you talking about? What? Are you kidding me? You a Killed? Yeah, he didn't need anything, and you mistook that for a- But that's not true! Gave him the last sacrament, sure. This is crazy. How can I prove- Think fast, because your time's running out. I'll find proof. I'll convince you. Proof? I'm already convinced that you killed him. I'll prove my innocence. And how do you want to do that? I'll go to the crime scene and search it. I must be able to find something. All right. But remember, you don't have much time. Got it? Dead man. Jesus. That man can't be normal. Why should I be the one to kill Petrenko? Today's the first time I've heard about him. Damn! I wonder how I'll get out of this fix.
Hi, kitty. Where did you come from? It seems purebred. It's probably been abandoned. Here, kitty kitty. Don't be scared. Ah, you scatty bitch. Not very friendly. Good day, how can I help you? What's going on here? I have to arrange something inside. I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. Please leave. And why? Look, at this rate I should be the one questioning you. But I can't be bothered, so I'll just repeat myself once more. Leave. Because if those metal boxes here that you want to arrange something in there, they'll drag you away. But why? They have no reason to... Well, to begin with, they don't need a reason. Not to mention the fact that a man was murdered here, and he was no common tramp. Murdered? Who was murdered? And who did it? Do you have any leads? That's not my problem. At least not now. You don't know who was murdered? Look, man, you're really starting to piss me off. It's none of your business. Are you always this curious? Well, you know. It's in my blood, I guess. All right, I guess it won't hurt. Either me or that man. Petrenko. Professor Petrenko. How was he killed? Jesus, man, this is too much. I'm losing my patience, and this conversation is over. Understood? Wait. You're responsible for investigating the case, aren't you? Not me. I don't give a damn. I just stand here and wait until those metal boxes go away. So you're just guarding the place? Why? Aren't you with the police? I'm... Why? The old types have been quite faulty lately. I really am with the police. But even there, we have errand boys. And look... If you don't stop prying, you'll get scraped up and bundled off by these numbskulls. As well as me. What do you mean? Look, it's not funny anymore. Not only is it none of your business, but moreover, you can't do anything about it. And the way you're talking is dangerous. Okay, but maybe I can help. Look, I need to get inside and I'm willing to do almost anything to get in there. Well, maybe. Damn. Alright, look. I investigated a particular case. Someone murdered an important man from the government district. And right here in the slums, quite deep inside in the ruined supermarkets where the squatters stay. Do you at least know where that is? I think I know, yeah. And now? Well, I simply couldn't solve it. I was unable to find the murderer. It had to be one of those good-for-nothings. But I, I have no idea which one. If you could help me, I questioned the family there. A mother, a father, and a little daughter. Well, little. F Fourteen, maybe fifteen years old. Quite a pretty girl. And she suffered from it too. She was probably selling herself to him in exchange for food. And often got beaten up by him. You mean the dead man from the government district? Most likely. But the girl told me nothing but lies during the interrogation. And when her parents disappeared, for some reason later on, she stopped speaking altogether. I don't know why or where they disappeared to. I think it's connected somehow, but I can't prove it. You said you needed to get inside. I'll get you there. That's no problem. Just find me some leads. How do I know I can trust you? <laughs> you you'll have to. That iron scrap will be investigating here for a pretty long time, I guess. Several days.